All right, real quick, I'm gonna do a video on um, setting up Chrysler uh, Legacy Flash app here. So uh, I have a clean Windows 10 system install. Um, I have my files downloaded already. So I'm just gonna extract this and get it set up. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit next, go through here. Uh, it says that you need Adobe, but you do not. So just go ahead and hit next, accept. Let it finish installing. Um, if, if you do need the application, you can uh, go to my website here. I have it over here for download. All right, so that is finished installing. Um, this icon right here, we're gonna go ahead and delete that. We do not need that one. We only need this one. So we're gonna move that here. And we're also going to go and create a new shortcut for the flash file location. So let's go to C, I'm gonna go to users, um, enter into your username. And we need to go into the app data, so you need to show hidden files because it is a hidden folder. All right, so I got hidden items. We go to app data. We're gonna go into local. We're gonna go into temp, and inside the temp directory, we are gonna make a folder called low. Okay, we're gonna go in there, and then we're gonna copy this address here. I'm going to right click, go to make a new shortcut, and we're going to paste that address right there. Then we're going to name this flash files. So now anytime you download a flash file that you want to use um, to write to an ECU, you're going to put it in here. But uh, just be warned, any files you put in here, when it's done flashing, it deletes them. Uh, so now I got to go back to my downloads here. So I have an example here. I have a CM551, uh, which is a RAM 5.9 ECU that I'm going to flash. I have it here on the bench uh, right here. And I have my uh, bench connection already set up. Um, and I also have my flash files downloaded already. So I'm going to extract them. Okay, right here. Now I'm going to actually, I'm going to just copy. You don't want to move them. You want to copy and paste because, like I said, it will get deleted from this this folder. Okay, and we'll go ahead and close that now. Uh, another thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to have to set up your pass-through uh, drivers. So I'm going to be using an Altel JVCI. So I'm going to set that up real quick. Um, Depending on which pass-through device you're going to use, you're going to have to, you know, download your own drivers for that. All right, so my drivers are installed. I'm going to connect uh, my JVCI. And I'm just going to check in the device manager real quick to make sure that it's programmed properly. Okay, there it is. Now um, I have my flash files already in. And now I'm going to open up the application. Uh, since this is the first time I've used it, I will have to select the device that I'm going to use, which is this one here. Uh, this will be different based on which you know drivers you installed. All right, so it should be ready to flash. So um, I'm gonna turn my ignition on. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And currently we see that it says there's no updates available for this ECU. Um, and that's because this is actually uh, for a manual calibration, or I'm sorry, this one is actually for the automatic calibration. And I wanna change it to a manual. So 
I'm going to go here into my flash folder. I'm going to find this file right here where it says FL part. I'm going to open this. And this is a list of part numbers that this file is compatible with. So it's like they're all in the same family. Um, so since the program on the ECU that I'm using right now is in a different family, um, it's not supposed to be compatible. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trick the system into thinking that it is by pasting the part number into this file. Okay, so that is done. So now I'm going to hit start again. And here we see that it's going to let me update it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. All right, so that uh, takes a couple of minutes, but now we see that it's done. Um, part number verification successful. Over here, I can cut it off. And I'm going to cut it back on. Now we should see the uh, wait to start light come on and cut off. All right. And if we check our flash folder, we'll see that it's empty. So um, that means everything was completed successfully. And uh, we have upgraded the uh, ECU or, you know, reflashed it. So that's it.